Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who are conscious of the fact that the battle of life is not over until God says so or until you decide that it is so. Yes, that's why the Bible tells us in Luke 9, 62 to keep going ahead because one who holds the plow and keeps looking back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragement. We heartily appreciate you all for your all-round support to us and pray that as you continue to support us, may God remember you for good throughout this month of September in Jesus' name. If you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, this is an appeal for you to please do so, so that together we can be in lockstep with the little that we are doing for the furtherance of the gospel on this YouTube channel. May God bless you as you subscribe and share. My brother, my sister, if Christ is not your Lord and Savior of your life, quit living a life of sin. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior now that you still have the opportunity to do so. And if you once gave your life to Christ, but for one reason or the other, you took back the life. Please give back that life to Christ before it becomes too late. And if Christ is actually Lord and Savior of your life, endeavor to live a life that is pleasant in the sight of the Father and that will serve as a magnet and not a repellent to the watching world. We pray for ways and directions to get the gospel across so that that brother and that sister can come to the saving knowledge of Christ like yourself and myself. May God equip and empower us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, we've been able to share several topics from slots 1 to slot 232. The last being the fact that even in our service for God, we need to decide in our hearts, like Daniel decided in his heart, not to eat the meat that was served on the king's table so that he will not be defiled. We pray that we will not just be hearers of the word, but we will be doers of the word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Today in slot 233, we have as topic the last lap. Yes, and our main passage is Lamentations chapter 3, from verse 22 to 23, in which we are told that the steadfast love of the Lord is new every morning. Beloved in the Lord, don't be discouraged, don't give up, don't quit. We know that the number 9 is the number of delivery, because every normal pregnancy is supposed to last for 9 months, even though some can go way beyond nine months. But in this month of delivery, as we go through the last lap of the pregnancy phase, the pregnancy can be your business, your ministry, your career, your marriage, and you name the rest. Remember that it is also called the bell lap, when the bell rings for you to put in your best, for you to do your utmost in order to win the race. And so you cannot afford to be discouraged because God's mercies are new every morning. Some of us are called upon to do the things that the people in the Bible did so that we can be able to cross the finish line and get the reward. Apostle Paul tells us that we should forget what lies behind. Whether it is the mistakes or the successes, we should forget them and press on towards the goal. According to Philippians 3, there's 13 to 14. And that's exactly what some of us need to do because it's not how much you play the cassette that of, has already passed or cry over spilled milk that will make a difference. And in some people's cases, they need to do what David did to encourage themselves in the Lord according to 1 Samuel 30 verse 6. Remember that life is a battle. Some days are good and other days are bad. But instead of being discouraged, it is time to encourage yourself in the Lord so that you can press on and finish in grand style. Maybe in our own case, we are called upon to do what Daniel did, to keep praying until we see results. Because in Daniel chapter 6 from verse 10 to 28, when the battle is fiercest, Daniel prays even more. Jesus prayed, he started with prayer and ended with prayer, making it clear that prayer is the master key that opens all doors. We also need to be the kind of people who are like Hannah. Some of us might need to make a vow like Hannah did in 1 Samuel 1.20. But remember, Ecclesiastes 5, 5 makes it clear that it is better not to make a vow if you know that you will not be able to keep the vow. Remember that you cannot cheat God. God is a Baba. We will surely need him at some point in time. Also, some of us are called upon to forgive like Joseph in Genesis 50 from verse 17 to 21. Remember that forgiveness sets you, the forgiver, free faster than the forgiving. And also, in some cases, we are called upon to fast like Esther in Esther chapter 4 verse 16 because desperate situations call for desperate measures. If the DJ refuses to change the music, 
you change your dance styles so that you will suit what the music the music that the dj is playing and some of us are also called upon to praise like Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 from verse 16 till the end because when praises go up, blessings will definitely come down. Or maybe you need to do what Gideon did in Judges chapter 6 to bring down the altars that want to alter your divine altitude or to give your life to Christ like the jailer and Lydia in Acts chapter 6 verse 16 because Jesus is the only way truth and life according to John 14 verse 6. And so if Christ is not your Lord and Savior of your life, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, wash me with the blood of the Lamb, give me the power to live right, to hate sin, and to do the needful. Because in this life, only Jesus is the true way out. The Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people of God. <music>